Thanks so much for staying there. Time now to talk business. And uh, beginning, former finance minister Seth Tekbe has justified reasons why his administration failed to meet targets under the IMF program. He was responding to accusations by Finance Minister Ken Foriata that the NDC failed to meet any of the targets set for it under the IMF program. The Finance Minister said total expenditures at the end of December 2016 stood at 30.3% of GDP against a target of 26.4% of GDP with an outstanding stock of arrears of nearly 7 billion CDs. He said this at variance with the performance criteria on the non-accumulation of arrears for the 2016 fiscal year under the IMF-supported Extended Credit Facility Program. President Anadu Dankwa Kufuado, during his State of the Nation address, also revealed that Ghana missed nearly all targets set for the country under the International Monetary Fund Extended Credit Facility Program of 918 million US dollars. According to him, government missed the targets due to financial and fiscal indiscipline in the management of public funds. But former finance minister Sir Tekpa said the allegation is unfair. He justified why the targets were missed. When you leave out this contest, the markets don't see a big picture. When you focus on only the negatives, that is what we mean by talking down the economy. And I hope that what I'm doing is providing a contest, you know, for the markets so that they see a total picture. There, is, there are few African countries, if any, that have a sinking fund that can take off 60 to 70 percent of the sovereign bond and i can assure you that that is the main reason why the honorable minister can go to the market and issue a bond he also commented on the abolishment of taxes we do not impose taxes for revenue reasons only you impose taxes for efficiency and equity reasons efficiency means that when you have focused your taxation on the agriculture sector for a very long time when you are focused on taxation on employees, on laborers, on teachers, you know, on health workers, doctors, and there is a growing sector of the economy, the services sector, you must focus on that sector as well. Otherwise, you have a very inequitable tax system for the citizens.